So I'm uh, Hugo Fliegen. I'm Senior Vice President of Product Management at Ariaka. And I'm here with uh, uh, Nati Ayer and I'm uh, Anu Shatur. And I'm going to provide an overview of the product, the company, and the strategy. Uh, Nati is going to dig deeper into the technology, what is behind it is. And Anu will do several demos so that you get feel of it, how it works, right? And like Tom already said, Ariaka provides a networking service which is increasingly converging with security, right? So that SASE converge uh, service. I will talk about it, how we are uh, developing the products, what are the roadmaps, what we have today, right? And how the co company is uh, organized. Uh, so it's a service, it's converged, it's a WAN service with security embedded, and uh, it's developed from the ground up, and we optimize everything from a customer experience point of view. We are the global scale. So. A little bit about the, uh, the company, right? So um, we have a global footprint. We will talk about that. Uh, we focus on enterprise clients and we connect data centers, branch offices, remote workers, and, and, and any form of cloud. Uh, we are very highly rated in terms, of, uh, uh, the, uh, in terms of the customer experience. If you look at Garner, we are three years in a row. We are always in all regions in top uh, right-hand quarter uh, over the last three years. So, Customer experience, that is really, really our focus. We have uh, raised a lot of capital uh, and we have a lot of deployments with uh, mid-market customers and larger customers, right? Um, now, in terms of some of what the customers are saying, right? So you see the various logos, it's about speed, right? You will find out that uh, we have a very agile service. We are not depending for very high performance on tech older technologies like MPLS. Right, you can still have that application performance across the globe. Uh, we obviously we do transformation away from MPLS. Right, we have a single we have a single unified network. Uh, actually, we have a private core where we can connect in all the offices, the users, the various flavors of cloud and and uh, and, and and data centers. Obviously, we help customers to save money. Right, and um, for and we connect remote users everywhere. Right, now. We have a unique approach. So we are a software company, and we build, we build from the ground up, we build, uh, we build the network services, which we operate on premise, and we operate in the, in the pop, right? So we complete cloud-delivered service at a global scale from the ground up, as well as we build security services from the ground up, which we integrate on our devices, and we create in our cloud-delivered services in our, on our pops. And we are an MSP. Right? We are a managed service provider and we provide connectivity. So you can come to Ariaka, you get a complete service, managed service, cloud delivered for your networking issues, WAN issues, and your security issues. Um, the, uh, what it does as well is that we are in control of the workflows. So if you think about it, we collapse the, the work of the software developer, the technology player, together with delivering that service, but what it boils down to, we can deliver a better workflow in, in terms of agility, because all of that is built from the ground up and connected with our technology. There's not an orchestration layer in between. If you are a technology vendor, you have to go to at and and Verizon, and then the whole thing starts again, where you have to uh, build all the orchestration layers and the workflows, and as well, train your service people. So we have as well the, service pe the services and support organization with delivered all these services across the globe. Uh, in terms of our architecture, right? So like I said, we have a private core across the globe and which is, exists already very tra traditionally within Ariaka for more than, more than 10 years from the begin early beginning. And we connect in data centers, offices, uh, cloud, etc. cetera. And uh, that provides a, a very high performance network, very agile all the things which are uh, already uh, covered. And we have things like WAN optimization completely built in in that architecture. So we can come in and we, we, we can provide a value where you can have a very agile system with very high performance in terms of reliability, connectivity, but as well of the application performance as such that you can get rid of MPLS as an example, right? And you can straddle across the globe. Now, what we have been doing over the last two, three years, start building in security, right? And our strategy is that security really has to converge with all the, all the different, with the, with the networking stack within the POPs infrastructure and on-prem in the devices. And so how are we working this is that you have a single architecture 
where security can live anywhere. These functions can live on-prem, they can live in the POP, and we can control them with this uh, same management uh, systems, same service delivery systems, so all these elements uh, really come together. Now, if you look at security, that's something which we are rolling out. So the first product we have already in early availability is a secure web gate for protecting the internet. And then you have the other functions for SaaS, data protection, and for threat protection. So that is being rolled out this year, all of these technologies. We already have a stack based on, on parlors which we have rolled out. So we are on this journey of providing a zero trust uh, architecture layered with the WAN. And so um, today we already have things like uh, poster checks and we have authentication of the users. We're building the, the various proxies, which comes in in the next six to nine months, which we will layer in. And then the differentiation for us between the market where you buy a separate SD-WAN solution, right? Typically an on-premise box, a device, and you buy a cloud security solution. If you look at the differentiation where we are really going to shine is in the performance because we control how we route the various uh, connections, right? So you don't have hairpinning anymore because we can have the security live everywhere. It's a very important element to it. The other is the convenience because you have only one portal, one single stop to shop where you have to deal with security policies and management policies and networking policies. And we can enforce it as well in the cloud or on-prem, it doesn't matter anymore. It's the same stack, it's the same experience. The policies are integrated. And the third piece of it is in terms of observability. We have giant data lakes already. And so security events are coming in. So we are doing very, we can do a lot of cool stuff in terms of delivering a lot of more advanced insights. So we already have a lot of insights. So that's how our view on WAN, our view on uh, the unification of the, uh, the WAN network. So another angle to look at it, if you talk about conversions, because SASE is about conversions, and we have a really unified perspective on that from an architecture and technology point of view. But for us, it's the conversions of networking, security, and lifecycle services, right? So we are known from how we started networking with WAN optimization, very flexibly connect to any form of cloud on demand almost, whether it's on a user at home or it's uh, uh, a network on-prem, right? But we have always integrated that with uh, lifecycle services, so it's one single experience of delivery, very agile, very on-demand, and you can completely outsource it. And when we started our security roadmap, all these principles in terms of how you deliver services, we kept all of these principles, and when we start rolling out the first firewall as a service, secure web gate as a service, all these principles stayed in play, to provide a very converged, agile experience. Now, if you look at it from an architectural point of view, just uh, the cliff notes of this, right? So, you know, your, te your technologist, you know, there are always three layers, right? So let me talk a little bit about all these various layers. So on the, on the, uh, the, uh, on the data plane or the distributed, uh, the, the, the distributed data plane, basically, if you look at it, is that we have built a very, unique software stack. It has been, from the beginning, very containerized. So we are basically able to isolate customers and site within the software. So it cannot be that if you have multi-tenant multi architecture that as one customer can bring down another customer. So it has, uh, basically it has uh, reliability benefits and as well agility benefits how we build out the data plane. But the other thing which is important is that the bottom pops, right? We have hyperscale pops. Uh, and then we've ANAPs that are our on-premise devices, but we run the same software on both the POPs, containerized, and on the ANAPs. And that provides us a very fast development uh, benefit because the features you develop on your POP infrastructure, you develop on your on-premise devices are the same features. The other thing as well, in terms of how we have enabled it, is a single pass architecture. If you talk about uh, your DPI inspection for applications, whether it's security, whether it's uh, networking, whether it's compression, all of that is built in a single chain. The same as if you talk about SSL decrypt is built in a single chain. So on the, there's a lot of unification happening in the software and it drives as well not only performance, but as well drives efficiencies. And then obviously on the management plane, right, we have a single management plane across these assets, networking and security. There are more people who do that, but it's one very cool thing which we do and it will come out of the demos 
is that if you talk about service management, operating your services, service ticketing, billing, usage uh, models, all of that is as well integrated in a single pane of glass. It's not just networking security, but as well how you manage your services are well integrated in that single uh, pane of glass. So that's what we have done in terms of the unification and that our, our principles to deliver something which is, has a high performance, is cost effective, and is very agile for customers at a global scale. Are you going to talk about your top distribution later in the presentation? Yes, okay. absolutely. Oh, wait. Right, absolutely. And it, the, would yeah. you please go over again the distributed data plane because it catches my eye a little. Yeah. And just so that it's clear because you have been using the words unified and distributed in, in some interesting fashion, and then I don't want to mix them up. So okay. Again. So, Distributed is for us is that there is a there's an element to that in in all the pops or the devices connect to the pop right and that on its own is already distributed because the controller functions are all residing within the pop that is one piece of it is completely distributed the second thing is is that how we build the software stack is containerized where it runs on servers it runs in the Linux environment but then Everything is a process. So that means if you bring up a customer or you bring up a site, it gets its own containerized compute space. So the process within Linux is, is, is basically spun up. And it means that, that uh, the, you don't have a sharing of your compute across other customers. You have complete isolation. What is, you know, if you would run something in Kubernetes, this is a proprietary version of containerization by Ariaka. It's the same models which are behind that. Right? And then, of course, we have processes for networking, uh, application processing. That is basically what we do in terms of TCP optimization and compression. Right? So that's happening between the on-prem device or the user at home and the, and, and the POP in terms of data compression. So that's an other stack of processes. And then we are adding all the security processes to it. But how we do it, you can walk into our POPs. That is a rack with servers in, for example, Equinix. Right, where we bring up all the software and all the process is one integrated fashion. And we can as well easily insert more uh, stuff. Right? So we can decide we work with a startup, we buy technology or we develop ourselves and we can bring it in that chain. Right? So, so drive the efficiency. And it doesn't matter whether that runs on the POPs or it runs on the CPE. It's the same logical construct. Yeah? The same set of software and features on the hood. Does it help uh, answer your questions in terms of distributed? And of course, unification. Unification is on the level of your networking and security. You unify it. Mm -hmm. So if you have, if you, if you, if you on a management layer, if you have policies, it's an integrated piece of looking at these policies, but as well, how they get exec executed down to these layers from the control plane to the distributed plane. Can I re-summarize that just to make yeah. sure I understand it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> are, are you saying essentially by, by saying it's distributed, it's really uh, individual functions that get service chained together within a pop. So you can yes. add and remove capabilities within that pop by adding another container that does something else. Yes. But you, you're saying it's single pass architecture, meaning it comes in, if I'm doing decryption, I do that on the front end, I do all of my processing. And That's then correct. It goes off and does what it needs to. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. That's correct. Absolutely. Great question. Thank you. Uh, a little bit in terms of our, what is our proposition to customers in terms of security, right? So we come from the networking world to connect all these assets within an enterprise. That's where we come from. And we have created a network which is extremely reliable with a very high application performance. That's our claim to fame. And if you've seen this architecture allows us to layer whatever on top of that, up on that networking fabric, right? And it's security is one piece, but you can layer other uh, services on top of it. So first, if we go, go to customers, uh, customers, we connect with other cloud services, nothing unique. But the only uniqueness is, is that we can enable that on-prem and we can, uh, can enable between our POPs and, for example, another cloud security service. We can enable that. And our service will guarantee the uptime to that, con to that other third-party cloud security uh, service. They will monitor it whether it's up or down. Very simple, right? Then is the next thing is we can connect their users, right? So that's, we started doing that two, three years ago. We can say, you know, you have branch offices with Ariaka. We can solve as well, great, provide the same experience, access the cloud and data center, 
for, for workers at home or workers at, on the road, right? So that's delivered by Ariaka private access. Then we have for a managed uh, SASE solution of managed security solutions where we work with the likes of Palo Alto and Checkpoint, where we basically have two offerings. You can have on our on-premise hardware, you can run as a virtual machine, you can run a Checkpoint virtual firewall, and you can run a Palo Alto virtual firewall. And all of the images are, are basically loaded from Ariaka's portals. And then you can take over the management by your Palo Alto management or Checkpoint management. And we even they can come to us and we manage that Palo Alto firewall or that at, at Checkpoint firewall running on our devices, we provide the management. So customers can buy their own licenses and they have these virtual machines running on our hardware, they can manage it themselves or they come to us and we manage it for them. So equivalently for uh, Harmony Connect as a, as a cloud security product of uh, Checkpoint, we can provide as well a managed service where the customer can basically outsource the network and the secure web gateway to Ariaka, including the, the managed firewalls. So yes. question here. Yes. <laughs> Do you build your own security tooling? Like, so, so in this, uh, is the security component of your SASE architecture integration with third party tools like this, or do you build your own features and capabilities, or is it an either or type thing? We have two, two, two options, right? So, one is we have a managed service where we have basically Ariaka with other vendors. Okay. And in that case, we have some tooling, but most of the tooling is being used, which is off the shelf of these vendors, right? Okay. And that's being used by our, uh, by our service service delivery people, sure. right? And of course, customer can say, yeah, I will manage it myself. And then of course we provide convenience and reduction of the number of boxes you need, right? And the, and the, the next pillar is that we are in process to create a complete unified SASE with technologies built from the ground up by Ariaka. We actually acquired a company uh, two years ago for a secure web gateway. So we have hired a lot of security people and we are integrating that into the Ariaka stack. And that will be the, basically from a security point of view, we have two pronged approaches. We have a managed solution where we take Palo Alto and Checkpoint, we integrate it in, we deliver it as a managed service, right? And we have the Ariaka native development where we provide a unified experience because by natively doing it, you can, you can bring uh, you know, benefits like a single pane of glass or a single pane of service. So that's basically an other alternative you bring to this customer. So we just have a strategy where we don't say it's one or the other. We just want to lead a customer. Often they come from other solutions and maybe they stay there or they want something based on a Palo Alto or Checkpoint or they want to move something with Ariaka in total, right? So that's kind of where we are from that point of view. Uh, I have a question about the managed yes. third party, kind of in addition to what we were talking about, specifically Palo Alto. So are you, are customers able to run the centralized management of Palo Alto, like the Panorama solution to manage all of their firewalls centrally that are running on Ariaka's platform? Yes. So they have two options. Either the customers say, I will manage it myself. You just take care of that image is on the platforms but they manage it. And in Palo Alto, that's in many cases the case, probably more than 50%. And then the other percentage is that they come to us and Ariaka, you take care of all the management of those uh, Palo Alto virtual machines, right? And we do in certain, certain cases where they, for example, have larger sites where they need a Palo Alto appliance or a checkpoint appliance, we will manage that too within certain constraints, right? Uh, but for the most time, it's kind of a virtual firewall running on our our uh, our uh, our appliances. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yes. Thank you. So, a little bit about the analyst, how they look at it. So, Deloro carved out that there is single vendor SASE and there's unified SASE. So, uh, we are with a few others. We are seen as a company who provide a unified SASE option, right? In the market, we already seen as a company provide a managed SASE offering, which is based on the third party uh, th third party security vendors. Then IDC goes more in detail about what is Ariaka SASE is offering, right? There's much more detail to it. And Gardner, obviously in the peer re review, the last three years be coming out very well in terms of, uh, of, uh, of, of how customers think about uh, Ariaka, right? How we are rated in the market. 